guys, how you doing? Doing a little unboxing tonight uh, from this is actually a kit that I ordered from uh, from Urban to Country Homestead, and uh, I know what's in here, and uh, my wife doesn't know yet, but I want to show you the kit that I got from him, and uh, it's a pretty cool little uh, fire kit. But uh, if you watch my other video on another package that I uh, unboxed. My wife sent me an email today and said, or a text, and said, you got mail. I said, what did I get? She said, let me open it. So they're open. Uh, haven't been in it yet. It's just open. This one's gapped out a little bit, but I haven't been in it. So let's see what we got. First things, which uh, I'm always thankful for any time I get because we don't have it in my state. That would. Love fatwood. We don't have it here. The only state in the United States that does not have its own native pine. So that's pretty cool. Then I got this cool fire kit and he sent it to me and it's got this really cool, cool camouflage design. And you know, I told him I was colorblind, so just make sure it's a nice manly camouflage cover. I don't know if you can see that. What do you think, dear? I'm uh, sorry, dear, but that I hear that's pink. No, it, no, it's camouflage. It's pink camouflage. Pink? Pink. Gee. Pink? Really? Huh. Maybe that one's mine. Yeah, not, that, that looks like more manly. That's not pink, is it? No. So anyway, I've got these two fire kits, and I hope you can see in the lighting, but uh, he can put different uh, cover designs on them for you. And got a pink cover design on that one, and more of a camouflage cover design on this one. Dear, that one is yours. Oh, thank that, you. That's going to be added to your fire kit. Guys, thank you. I'm going to reposition. Oh, yeah, you're welcome, sweetie. You're welcome. But uh, I'm going to reposition the camera, and I'll show, show you what's in this. Pretty cool little kit. Nice addition to your uh, EDC or uh, bug out bag or anything like that. And uh, what I like about it, most we'll get into that, is it's a great kit for a wife or a teenager or something that may not be a uh, bushcraft or anything. You know, you don't want to send them out with flint and steel and a, a ferro rod and uh, all that. It's a great little kit. Let's reposition the camera and we'll take a look at it. All right, got the two kits laid out here. One I bought for my wife, one I bought for myself, and the mouse just to show you a reference to the size. Um, that's the first thing you notice is the size. Uh, Jeep was telling me that he carries his in an old uh, cell phone uh, belt pouch or holder, if you would, and he said it fits perfectly and he carries it as a ZDC. And uh, that's where I think I'm going to put mine, and that's the reason I bought. The EDC or the uh, kit for my wife, and I will show you why it would be perfect for a spouse or a uh, teenager or something that uh, may not quite be a bushcrafter or a survivalist, but would still like to, uh, or you would like them to have some type of uh, kit in case they uh, get into a situation they need to make fire. Let's take a look. And since I bought this kit for my wife, and that I bought it because of what's in it for her. Let's take a look and see what she has. First off, a couple of Ranger bands. And as I mentioned, the designs, the nice manly pink there, but no. Uh, he has a couple of different designs. I have the uh, camouflage, uh, and he has a couple of, I think, variations of that. And the uh, pink, which I bought for my wife. Oh. Nice sealed up uh, box there. Let's take a look at it. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is lay the things out, and we'll discuss them after I lay them out. But no, we'll go through them. First off, of course, is the big lighter. You know, as I said, the reason I bought this for my wife was I didn't want to send her out with a ferro rod and a uh, flint and steel, and uh, here's a bow rod, go figure it out. hope you don't get caught in a snowstorm somewhere, uh, you know. You know, we've all relied on these two. 
great thing to have in your kit, but uh, that's something that would be a good standby for, or something that, uh, you know, r no real worries getting fire going. Okay? Next he has a pouch, and in that pouch, I'm not going to open it all up, but uh, it looks like four regular matches, a couple of uh, waterproof matches, and I, I ask you guys if you can go over and check out uh, From Urban to Country Homestead's uh, video on this. He does a much better video, but uh, I want to give you a little overview. A birthday candle, again, a great item for starting fires. Uh, you know, she has the uh, lighter or the matches, gets the candle lit, it's got the wax. You know, if she can get some tinder going, there you go. Uh, that would uh, last for quite a while trying to get a fire going. Then here, if I remember right, uh, he called it his cotton and wax mess. So uh, it's a fire start starter uh, that he uh, made. And again, another good uh, plus for the kit. You know, um, she's got the lighter, she can light it, and uh, gives her some time to get the uh, tinder bundle or whatever she's using to get, get a fire going. But, uh, the next thing in there is a couple straws, and these are, there's a short one and a longer one with cotton, and uh, I can't remember if it was Vaseline or wax, but uh, good, either way it's a good fire starter, you know, uh, might have to tell them what it is and how to use it at first, but uh, you know, I'm sure if they needed to they could break it open and figure that out. Uh, get that lit. Another long lasting uh, fire started. You know, give them a little time to get the fire going. Couple alcohol swabs. Definitely multi-purpose, you know, one medical, of course, and also a good uh, basis or a good tender for getting a fire started. And last but not least, just for a survival bushcraft, guys, there it is. Sorry about that. There is a barrel rod. There is a barrel rod in there. Oh, I forgot to mention, he does have a small striker in the uh, bag and a striker in the lid for the barrel rod. So, again, I think this is a pretty little, a, a pretty cool little kit uh, for somebody that might not. Uh, be that experience in bushcrafting or survival or does not want to be but still wants a means to start a fire if caught in a uh, survival situation and even those of us that are a little bit more experienced I think this is a great little addition to our kits or EDC thanks for watching guys and I ask uh, if you could go over and check out from urban to country homesteads uh, channel thanks for watching have a good evening